Hello my darlings and welcome. In this video I'll craft a miniature maypole to decorate my altar for Beltane. Let's do some magical crafting. To begin this project I'm using a 4 inch unfinished wooden disc as a base, a quarter inch thick wooden dowel as the pole, and a large wooden bead as the topper. I've painted the bead a pale green color and I'm hot gluing it to the top of the pole. I'm also painting the base and the pole the same pale green color. May Day is a celebration of the return of spring. The observance originated as ancient Greek and Roman agricultural rituals that were intended to ensure fertility for crops. More modern celebrations vary widely and include the gathering of wildflowers and green branches, the weaving of floral garlands, the crowning of a May king and queen, and the setting up of a decorated May tree or maypole around which people dance. The next step is to cut several lengths of ribbon, slightly longer than the pole. Originally, I was going to use a bunch of different rainbow colors, but ultimately I settled on green and pink only. I wanted to echo those colors in the moss and flowers on the base and topper. I glued the ribbon to the top ball alternating colors. Then I covered the top ball with moss. The final result looks a bit like a topiary. Then I covered the base with moss as well. This is how you get your pole to stand up straight by packing the moss all around it and forming a little hill to support the pole. Make sure to squeeze a lot of hot glue into the center and allow the whole thing to cool and harden. The next step is to add some paper flowers on the base and top moss. I decided to add adhesive rhinestones to the center of each flower. Then I glued them on the base in a scattered pattern. Then I glued some paper flowers to the moss covered topper. I had twisted the ribbon around the pole very loosely and lightly tacked a few of them down with glue so they would look natural. You can leave the ribbon loose and flowing if you prefer that look. And here's a quick look at my Beltane altar. The maypole is set at the top. 
flanked by two floral hummingbird statues designed by an artist named Jim Shore. Next to that, I've placed my shrine to the Greek goddess Gaia. I created this shrine during an Art Witch Wednesday live stream, and I'll leave a link to that video replay below. Below that is my Beltane wreath, which I'm using as a candle holder for a large blue pillar candle. I'll link to the Beltane wreath craft video below as well. I hope this video inspires you to try this Maypole craft project, and I'm sending you all of the blessings of May Day and Springtime.